for a cancer-causing chemical that's been found in drinking water in some parts of our area. KPRC2 Investigates has been reporting on chromium-6 in drinking water and how some of the most elevated levels can be found in A-Leaf as well as Liberty and Fort Bend County. Just yesterday, we were the first to report the U.S. House passed legislation to set a standard for the cancer-causing chemical in tap water. And today, we hear from one activist who became famous for her fight against chromium-6. KPRC2's Haley Hernandez is Houston's only TV health reporter, and she's joining us live in A-Leaf with this development. Haley? You know what, guys? This is one that we have been holding lawmakers accountable for for years. And today I spoke with Aaron Brockovich about this one big step towards limiting chromium-6 in your drinking water. Chromium-6 is a natural substance, but is also known to cause cancer. Nobody knows that better than Aaron Brockovich, who worked for the residents of Hinkley, California, 30 years ago when they had elevated levels in their water. But now it's the first time anyone is doing something about it at the national level. It's happening. The conversation is being had. We are being heard. We are being seen. And that's the step that I think gets us where we need to go. On Thursday, Congressman Al Green passed a bill that could help set a federal standard for chromium-6 in drinking water. Some of the most elevated levels can be found in Liberty, Fort Bend counties, and A-Leaf. At this facility, it had one of the highest levels of chromium-6 in the last quarter. This is a problem that we have to address, and my hope is that we'll get this legislation passed in the Senate and that the president will sign it. If that happens, it could force the EPA to have a standard for chromium-6 in the next two years. I come to Texas often. It's great people, great state. I hate to tell you, you definitely got some water problems, but I'm really glad this conversation is getting bigger and bigger. And just like her, many residents here in A-Leaf are cautiously optimistic that that bill could pass the Senate as well. Coming up at 6 o'clock, you're going to hear from one president of a super neighborhood here about what she has to say to senators. Guys, back to you. And so, Haley, our Investigates team coordinated that Zoom call out in A-Leaf between Al Green and Aaron Brockovich. We'd love to know what else was discussed. You know, just like she alluded to right there at the end of this story, she says that Texas has water problems. And today, C Congressman Al Green, Aaron Brockovich, and I were on a phone call together. They are now in touch with each other and promise to uh, continue to pair up for initiatives going forward. And they promised me that they would keep me in the loop and let KPRC know what they plan to do going forward. And I will tell you that their first step is convincing senators that they need to pass this bill. Reporting live in A-Leaf, I'm Haley Hernandez, KPRC 2 News.